Welcome to a new study published in Neuron. It presents new findings from the group of Jakob von Engelhardt in Germany about two synaptic proteins which probably play an important role in learning and memory. My laboratory at the DZNI in Bonn and the DKFZ in Heidelberg studies synaptic physiology and how synaptic signaling is impaired in neurodegenerative diseases. The work was done in collaboration with two groups from Heidelberg, namely the group from Hannah Monnier at the University Hospital and the group from Rolf Sprengel at the Max Planck Institute for Medical Research. In this study, we were interested to better understand how the flow of information from the cortex to the hippocampus is processed and which molecules are required for that task. The hippocampus is a structure in the brain that is responsible for short and long-term memory and spatial learning. Granule cells of the dentigyes, the main input region of the hippocampus, are activated by the binding of glutamate to amber receptors. Work from the last decade has shown that these tetrameric receptors bind to auxiliary subunits that modify receptor functions. In the dented gyrus, two of those proteins, TAP gamma 8 and CKM44, exhibit particularly high expression levels and are likely to be two main amperoceptor auxiliary subunits in granule cells. Using biochemical and physiological methods, we investigated the composition of amperoceptor complexes in the hippocampus. We showed that CK44 binds to upper receptors by a short stretch of amino acids that are located immediately downstream of the transmembrane region. It is already known that as many as four TAP gamma 8 molecules can bind to each individual tetrameric upper receptor. As shown in this western blot, using a TAP gamma 8 antibody, we co purified CK44 from the hippocampus of wild type, but not CK44 knockout mice. Thus, CK44 can interact with the TAP gamma 8 bound amper receptors, although the stoichiometry of CKM44 binding to amper receptors still has to be investigated. In granular cells, both auxiliary subunits, CKM44 and TAP gamma 8, promote the trafficking of amper receptors to the cell surface and to the synapse. The trafficking of amper receptors to the synapse requires the binding of the auxiliary subunits to postsynaptic density proteins. Long-term potentiation, or LTP, is the long-lasting enhancement in signal transmission that occurs between two neurons when they are stimulated with certain induction protocol. For example, in wild-type animals, stimulating perforant power fibers at a frequency of 1 Hz, coupled with a depolarization of the postsynaptic granule cell, leads to a long-lasting potentiation of synaptic transmission at this synapse. The mechanisms underlying LTP vary between brain region and stimulation protocol but it often occurs via the increase of the number of postsynaptic receptors. Since we had shown that CCAMP44 and TARP gamma 8 both promote amper receptor trafficking to synapse, we postulated that they might be involved in the expression of LTP. Indeed, LTP was completely abolished in TARP gamma 8 knockout animals, whereas the genetic ablation of CCAMP44 had no effect on the expression of LTP, indicating a vital difference in the mechanism of action of these two proteins. CCAM44 and TAP gamma 8 not only regulate amperoceptor trafficking, but also modulate amperoceptor gating. We found that they influence several gating properties differentially, in particular the recovery from desensitization. We therefore wondered whether this would affect short-term plasticity, given that we've shown before in dented gyrus granule cell synapses that the recovery from desensitization plays a role in short-term plasticity. So we stimulated perforant path fibers five times at a frequency of 20 Hz and recorded amper receptor mediated currents. Indeed, as you can see from these example recordings from the three different genotypes we used, deletion of CCAM44 leads to a cumulative facilitation of amper receptor responses, whereas deletion of TAP gamma 8 leads to a depression compared to wild type mice. Both proteins therefore display an opposing influence on short term plasticity. Another surprising finding was that both proteins affect the morphology of dentatrivus granule cells. Deletion of CCAM44 and TAP gamma 8 leads to a decrease in spine number on proximal and distal dendrites. This may be explained by the reduction in amperoceptor number on the surface of CCAM44 and TAP gamma 8 lacking neurons, as we observed a similar effect in GLUE1 deficient mice. This study demonstrates that amperoceptors 
undented gyrus granule cells under, are under the control of CKIM44 and TAP gamma 8 Both proteins promote the trafficking of receptors to the cell surface and to synapses. However, they differ in their influence on synaptic short-term plasticity and their involvement in synaptic long-term potentiation. The fact that both proteins share several functions but differ in some important aspects leads to fascinating questions regarding the control or regulation of the expression on a cellular level.